Hello there, I'm Black Bright, broadcasting out of the UK. For those of you who are passing by for the first time, welcome to my channel. You can put the thumbs up, thumbs down, interact with my fellow subscribers. And yeah, returning subscribers, thank you for support and everything else, some for your feedback and interacting with each other. I wanted to talk today about social distancing because on the surface it seems as though it's something that's not too bothersome. We shouldn't really worry about it, really, because what does it mean? How do you interpret social distancing? For me, I would think social distancing, you think about social media, and it's quite. it seems quite harmless on the surface. I think, well, maybe I shouldn't see my friends so often. It'll probably mean that we won't be going to the shop so often. The banks won't be entertaining us. And we won't be able to take the train, we won't be able to take the bus, we won't be able to take the coach, we won't be able to get in planes. You know, all that kind of stuff. Social distancing. Not interacting with other people socially. So that's what it sounds like. But that's not what it is. Social distancing has its roots in race relations and classism. As far back as the 1600s, it was put in place to separate classes and races. That's how it came about. And even it's enshrined in USA law, in the citizenship, that apparently the social distancing disallowed anyone who was not a free white person to be a US citizen. Social distancing came about after the Jim Crow's laws in 1690. So why all of a sudden are we hearing social distancing in the context of the coronavirus? Why are they linking the two words together? Now, this word is being banded around by intellectuals, by people who are educated by academics who know the roots of social distancing. So why are they bringing it out as though it's a friendly word, as though there's nothing harmless in the word? And the way that people will think, because we're always thinking social, social media, social this, social that, social distancing, oh, nothing to worry about. We just keep our distance from certain people while the, while the, while the virus is not being contained. Well, me and my little notes. Social distancing. Well, social distance reflects with ref, sorry, social distance refers to the level of acceptance people have of others outside of their own social group of class. That's the definition of social distancing. This level of acceptance is defined by their general feelings towards others and the amount of social interaction they have with people whose characteristics are outside the social norm. Anyone who is different from themselves, that is what social distancing is. Social distance manifests itself across social categories, including class, race, ethnicity, culture and nationality, religion, gender, sexuality and age, i.e. the protected characteristics, things that you cannot do anything about. And that's what social distance has decided it's going to latch onto and separate itself from. Well, that group of people. Social distance refers to the degree one group feels sympathy or empathy for persons from another group. There's not many people like that. I mean, even people in the same group have issues with empathy and sympathy. So Bogardus Social Distance Scale came out in 1925. That determined the race relation cycle. And if you look up social distance, and I'm going to put a few um, bits in my description, you'll understand what I'm talking about. If you're an intellectual, you'll understand it even better. 
I just try to simplify it as much as possible. And I would welcome, really welcome constructive feedback in a layperson's way in the um, in the description below in case I've got it wrong, if I've misinterpreted it. Because I'm doing it very, very basic. That is what I'm about. I'm about talking to people, um, the regular John Joe, like myself, who gets kind of confused with long words and complicated statements and narrative. We just want something simple. So if you can um, interpret it and correct me where I have gone wrong, I would appreciate that. So um, social distance is um, equals, it's more or less like physical distance. People buy a house so they can be close to friends, families and people who are like them. If So if you move into a white, if, as a black person moves into a white neighbourhood, they will create a metaphorical distance, which is they can't physically distance themselves. So they will show actions and behave in a a way that will distance that family that they're different from so that that person will stay on their side of the fence. So um, social distance has its origin in race relations, like I said, in class consciousness, with the idea being to separate from a certain race or class, from classes and races they do not understand. Now, the USA citizenship, as I've said before, the USA citizenship exclusion is rooted in social distancing and is enshrined in US law. That's the 1925 Bogardus score item number five. And that is the scale that they use to measure social distancing. Um, People think that social distance is like social media. It's not the same thing. They've thrown it into the mix to make it look like it's a friendly term and that it's acceptable. So, like I said, I recommend you to read up on social distancing, only if you're interested. Um, Systems have been tracking social network activity to analyse daily points of contact between persons in the network. The next task is to socially distance them. The naturalisation law of 1790, which was rescinded by McCarran Water Act 1954, limited US citizens to free white persons only. That's what I said before. Social distancing is therefore paralleled with redlining and segregation. There was some racial mixing in the parks in the USA before Jim Crow's laws of 1890, creating racialized space both metaphorically and physically. So social distancing is not excluding cabs, trains, coaches, planes, banks, shops, workplaces in a guise to separate groups. It No, it is a guise to separate groups of people into redefined areas under the coronavirus umbrella. In 2020, we do not want this to happen. We do not want to limit friendships. We do not want to limit interracial relationships. So say no to social distancing. It is not what you think it is. Check it out, folks. Bye-bye.